Okay, so sorry about the handheld video, but it's easier to show this. This is a socket 7 CPU, you can see. Uh, this looks like it's a late one. It has um, integrated uh, I.O. IDE floppy it has the transitional era memory slot so for sim and 72 pin sim and the PC 66 or PC 100 or something RAM stick there um, it's a TX Pro 3 chipset and it has installed right now um, Pentium MMX 200 megahertz so you can see there is some damage here it's missing the um, you know the th the thing here, the lever that re uh, helps you remove the CPU, it moves this plastic around. So I can remove the CPU as is. Um, so I was doing like a quick visual inspection of this board. Uh, it looks fine, looks fine, everything is fine until you get this. And this is why I wanted to go handheld. So as uh, you can see, there is some damage there. Get something to point. There is some damage there and here. I don't think it's, this is actually like cut traces. It looks more like a scratches, but there is an impact here. But that's not going to be an issue. Maybe we'll need to clean this to make sure if it's okay or not. If it's reliable. Uh, but here, I don't know if I can get closer, yeah. Here, those two traces are going directly to the CPU are gone. So I don't expect this motherboard to work at all right now. We'll probably just do nothing. And to test, I have this thing plugging into the monitor. I Let me get a power supply and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the power supply is running. Okay, yeah, it looks like uh, and it's connected to the motherboard and I got nothing at all. It can be uh, several reasons why that's not working, but yeah, I mean the traces on the CPU being cut, it is a big problem. I don't know what exactly those pins there do, but uh, yeah, I think the CPU needs whatever is that. Uh, so yeah, it's not posting right now. I, I don't have the diagnostic card in, but you know, we see that it's not doing anything. CPU gets hot. It gets pretty hot. I think it needs a cooler. Uh, but yeah, um, that we have a power reset. There's nothing at all. And there is memory, you know, this board was asses. So, no, maybe it's just that, but I really think it's just the. Uh, just those traces there. So, what I'm going to do is show you how I fix that quickly and let's see if we have a working Pentium motherboard. Okay. Let me clean a little bit around the soldering point so we can check how damaged it is. Need to use a little bit of alcohol and you know, kind of fighting with the the whole tripod thing here and the lamp next to me. Let me let me get a little bit more of light. Uh, okay. We have some light. Uh, let me give you a little bit of zoom. Okay, it's not perfect, but uh, maybe it is something. So what I'm doing here is just cleaning the motherboard around. Just remove the. the okay. 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 Let me show you. Here we are. So you can see there is this damage on this side. There and the obvious damage that is going on there. 
Okay, two. I just exposed the traces. I don't know, something scratchy. Silence my computer. Okay, so I'm going to use this tool. So I'm gonna scratch traces over here. This is just to see if there is some damage. to give you a little yeah that okay I'll watch you closer there's some issues here I'm going to scratch here Then we can use the UV masking thing to cover this so it doesn't get um, weird, you know, the copper traces go weird after a while just being exposed to the air. <sighs> yeah, there is absolutely a bad trace damage there. I can patch it with a wire or something there. There you can see this is okay. This is all okay. At least I see it okay here on my end. There is a scratch here, but it's over the traces. I don't think it's like an electrical interruption or anything. It doesn't look too good. So maybe I will add a little bit of flux and go over this just to, you know make them a little bit stronger but these two here and this only these two because it looks fine goes here sorry here it looks fine with these two that goes to this pin right here and the other one that goes to this pin right here are gone so, I don't see anything else like that on this board. There's a kind of localized damage. Probably something was dropped on top of the board or the board fell into something. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit of wire, a little bit of solder. Uh, let me plug in my soldering iron here. I'm going to clean up a little. Okay, maybe that's better. You see, yeah. I'm going to connect here again. This tiny tree. And yeah, maybe I should be using other tip. A little bit smaller, but it's okay. It's okay. And we're in. It's connected. So again, we are going to remove the trace. I mean the wire. We don't need. Okay. And that looks fine. I'm sure. Yeah, it's okay. Let me get it a little bit. I think it's a little bit connected to the other trace, so I'm going to move it. 
Maybe not, no. It's weird. The trace is confusing. Okay, that's perfect, yeah. It's uh, great here. It's clean and the other trace is okay. So it should be ready to clean. Just a little bit. Using alcohol here and a toothbrush. Just to make sure to be a little less destructive with the toothbrush, but it's okay. Uh, it's perfect. So those two traces are connected again. Here is a wire to this port and there is a wire to this other pin. And the third one here was already connected, so that's okay. And here it looks also fine. I don't think this even need a connection again, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, they just try it. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab the video card. I think it's connected to the monitor. This video card came with the computer, so I have no idea if it works. Zoom out, okay, and the power supply, which also came with the computer, and also I have no idea if it works. Well, turn off this thing. It was the soldering station? And again, the video card is in. The power supply is probably connected. Just need power now. Where's the power cable? There you are. Okay, let's see what happens. The monitor is off. The monitor is on. Yay! Yay! It's working now. Great. It's obviously not going to detect anything, it's going to give us a Siemens checksum error, but the, word, but the board is alive again. That's great! Um, so yeah, this is just a standard Pentium MMX and it has 64 megs of RAM, so that is um, 16 meg sticks, just as I predicted. Uh, yeah, amazing! Works great! So. I have another working Pentium board. So what I'm going to do, and I need to find my ultraviolet, uh, I think it's ultraviolet light, um, so I can put that PCB uh, glue thing on the traces I fixed, but I need to clean that better. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the board is working. That was the object of this video. So great. Thanks for watching. Bye.